we had three pre-show conferences. The first time, the Smart Building Conference, with over 130 people registering for that. We had our Future Trends uh, Summit yesterday, and I, I believe we had about uh, 80 attendees to that event. And we had the Megapixel Summit uh, for the first time as well. We had a, what I thought was a very interesting and insightful keynote uh, event with Marco Tempest. Um, a full house last night. And uh, we finished off with a nice party and some presentations to our founding exhibitors. In total, we had almost about 1,200 people yesterday coming into uh, the ride for those pre-show events. Well, what have we got this year? We've got all, um, actually, it's more than 900 uh, exhibitors when we count our sub-exhibitors. Um, of those, over 200 are new, so we really have something for you as the press to see. It's not just what you saw last year. There are new companies, new products, new solutions for you to actually experience at this show. And our attendees, well, I can't give you the number yet. What I can, I think I'm certain about, is that we will have an increased attendance. Um, as of uh, close of registration this morning, we were on around 40,000 uh, pre-registrations. But what's really interesting about that is about a quarter of them are new to ISE. So we are bringing new people to this show, and new people to this market. And that's a, a real bonus for our exhibitors. <laughs> And in the future, well, I said to you, we're committed to Amsterdam. We made a good decision to come here. It works for this show. We are at the center of the key markets in Europe. Um, but we also have good connections, good communications to bring attendees in from Southern Europe, from Eastern Europe, from all, all over the world, in fact. There are more than 250 direct flights to Amsterdam Airport every day from 250 different uh, locations. That makes it easy to get to, reasonably priced. Because of that, we have extended our contract and made a commitment to stay in Amsterdam until at least 2019. That gives some security for our industry to have a venue that works for us long term. It gives us uh, a chance to tell our exhibitors, you as our uh, loyal supporters in the press, uh, and the attendees, a chance to plan in the future and know that this, this event will continue here. The difference will be for next year, we're still going to be the same week. For the following year, we will move one week later. Now, that's a big advantage for those of you, specifically if you're covering the pro audio sector, uh, because of events running in the US and other events across Europe. We also get another week to actually help us promote after Christmas and uh, uh, keep ISE uh, with you uh, live for our attendees. Well, um, we've had a record also on press. Uh, over 400 press registrations uh, for this year. It's the best we've ever had. And a lot of those are new to this industry. Uh, companies which are not, uh, sorry, publications which are not just focused on the AV um, industry, but covering on the periphery. Um, I'm pleased to see those of you who've been here from the beginning uh, and have always supported us, and uh, I really appreciate that. You've helped us in, in that success. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for helping us grow and making this the, the best AV event in Europe. Um, as a last point, I'd like to present some members of our board of directors. Um, uh, these are people who are behind me and uh, help me, as well as my staff, in actually structuring this event and making it successful. And uh, in particular, David Buskus, who's new to our board. David, would you mind standing up just to identify yourself? Terry Friesenborg, um, it's been from the beginning. I see Wendy uh, Griffiths in the back there. Hi. Anyone else from our board here? So these, these are the people who actually help steer this event and make it uh, what it is as well. Please feel free to talk to them throughout. They're happy to give interviews. They're, they really know what uh, the direction and long-term future of ISE is and uh, are fully committed to it. They're also members of the other boards of CDO and Infocom. You'll see them with their badges. Uh, please take advantage to talk to them about associations as well. And, um, Please enjoy the show. Three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, ISE 2014 is now 30, is now open. Okay. Yeah, Terry couldn't get through. Harder, maybe with your knee Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.